February 24, 2024, 8.29 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, AP Kyle Filipowski remembered seeing the images of Iowa women's basketball star Caitlin Clark being accidentally knocked down by a fan storming the court after her team suffered an upset loss. Roughly a month later, Duke's seven-foot star found himself part of the same discussion on the dangers of court storming, his right leg wrapped in plastic to fasten an ice bag to his kneecap. And he wasn't happy about what had just happened. Just like any other upset game where the fans rush the court, all hell goes crazy, Filipowski said after being hobbled in a collision with an on-rushing fan after the eighth-ranked Blue Devils lost at Wake Forest on Saturday. Just trying to get my way off the court, and you know, you've got these crazy college students just doing whatever they want. It's got to be a little more protective when things like that happen. Wake Forest Demon Deacons fans storm the court after a win over the Duke Blue Devils at Lawrence Joel Veterans Memorial Coliseum on February 24, 2024, in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. Wake Forest won 83-79. Grant Halverson, Getty Images The Clark Incident, coming January 21st after then no. 2 Iowa's loss at Ohio State, offered a reminder of the risk facing athletes and coaching staff stuck in the path of an oncoming exuberant rush of fans eager to celebrate at midcourt. It's long been regarded as a rite of passage and part of the fabric of college athletics, most notably in a sport that captures the national spotlight every year with its March Madness spectacle in the NCAA tournament. Yet Saturday marked the latest incident of the potentially combustible combination created by fans venturing between the lines that belong to the athletes right up to that final horn, this time involving an Associated Press preseason All-American. Duke coach John Shire was ready to press that point the moment he sat down at the table for his post-game news conference. When are we going to ban court storming? Shire said, like, when are we going to ban that? How many times does a player have to get into something where they get punched or they get pushed or they get taunted right in their face? It's a dangerous thing. The prologue came with Duke trailing by four with 1.8 seconds left down to a single inbounds heave for some type of miracle finish. Fans had already moved down to the court area as Mark Mitchell heaved a long inbounds pass that was intercepted by Cam Hildreth near midcourt. And they were at full sprint once the horn sounded. Hunter Salas No. 23 of the Wake Forest Demon Deacons battles Kyle Filipowski No. 30 of the Duke Blue Devils for the ball during the second half of the game at Lawrence Joel Veterans Memorial Coliseum on February 24, 2024, in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. Getty Images, I mean, like everyone knew it was coming, Filipowski said. They were up four with two seconds left. Everyone was just waiting for the moment.